Hey, what's going on everybody? If we haven't met before, my name is Mackenzie. I'm part of the team here at Rhymer Tuning. And today we're doing a tune on a Case IH Magnum 290 using our Reflash Master handheld device. Let's get into it. Our Reflash Master is an extremely user-friendly way to read and write the ECMs. Our neighbor just down the street lent us his Case Magnum 290, and that's what we're going to be tuning today. But it's just not for Case products. You can also use it on John Deere, Takahuchi, and even most Kubota models. So let's unpack our Reflash Master and see what comes in your engine tuning kit. Unboxing the Reflash Master, right away you're going to find the handheld device. This is used to read and write the ECM. Right above that, is the USB thumb drive. This has all the software that you're going to need to upload and download from your handheld device. Right below that are two cables. The generic USB, this will connect the handheld device to your computer. And then the J1939 universal adapter. This is used for the majority of the applications. From here, you're going to need a computer. It has to be a Windows. So we're going to grab our laptop and we're going to start downloading the My Genius Client app. This is how you're going to download your read file and upload the modified file. Take the USB thumb drive, plug it in. We're going to select the My Genius Client. This is the application that you need in order to be able to use the handheld device. Now, when you're installing the My Genius Client program, it can take a couple of minutes. So just stand by the computer because it is going to need you to plug in the handheld device. Once the client has been installed, it's going to run an automatic update. Halfway through the update, you're gonna to have to plug in the handheld device. Now, this update can take a few minutes, but it's not going to take too, too long. So just stand by the computer and it'll be ready before you know it. Once you're prompted, plug in the USB cord that came with the Reflash Master into your computer. Then on the bottom of the handheld device is the actual USB port. Now that the update's been completed, the handheld device is ready to use. Grab your J1939 cable and your Reflash Master, head out to your equipment. Now that we're inside your piece of equipment, this is where we're going to attach the J1939 cable to the top of the Reflash Master. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's in tight and that it is screwed in place with the set pins. Then you're gonna start looking for your diagnostic port. For this case 290, I know that it's right back here. You're gonna to wanna to plug in and not have the key turned on yet. You'll see that the Reflash Master turns on by itself. Now that the Reflash Master is plugged into the diagnostic port, the main menu is automatically going to pop up. You're going to see Work, Reset, Setup, and Info. To take a read of the ECM, you're going to want to select Work by pressing the green check mark labeled Select. Then you're going to see the brand pop up. Now this is initialized by the team at Rhymer Tuning and will automatically be set up for you. Today we're working on a Case Magnum 290 and so we're going to select Case by the green check mark labeled Select. All the models for the Case brand type are going to be available through the handheld device. We need to find Magnum and we're going to use the down arrow in order to find it through the list. And then select 
the green check mark again. Now there are multiple different types of magnums available. We're going to scroll until we find 290, again using the down arrow. Once you've found your type, press the green check mark labeled select. You're going to have a prompt to connect your piece of equipment to a stabilized battery source. Make sure to do this. Once that's completed, press the green check mark labeled select. You're going to want to make sure that your ignition has been turned to the on position without the engine running. Then press OK with the green check mark. Once the ECM communication's been completed, you're going to switch off the dash. This indicates that the protocol has been identified by the handheld device. This allows you to be able to take a read of the ECM. Press OK using the green check mark. Now you have the ability to complete a reading file from the ECM. Press the green check mark labeled select. Again, it's going to prompt you to ensure that your piece of equipment is connected to a stabilized battery source. Press OK with the green check mark. It'll prompt you to turn the dash on without the engine running, complete that, and then press the green check mark labeled select. This loading bar indicates that a reading is in progress. Once the writing process has been completed, it's going to prompt you to turn off the dash again. Once that's been done, press the green check mark labeled select. You'll get confirmation saying that the reading of the ECM has been completed. Press OK with the green check mark. Once you're back at the main menu, it is safe to disconnect from the diagnostic port and head back to your computer. Now that you've taken a read of the ECM, this is the file that we're going to need in order to modify it. So we're going to head back to the laptop now, that way we can email the file over to the tuner and get that modified for you. Now that we have a read file from the ECM, we're going to connect the Reflash Master back into the computer, but it's super important to disconnect the J1939 cable from the top of the handheld device. Otherwise, it won't connect to the computer properly. Plug in the handheld device using the USB cable, and you're going to have a prompt saying that it's initializing communication. We're going to take a download from My Genius. This is going to download what's called a MyG file from the handheld device. A second window will open and you're going to click Next. We're going to change the location from Download to Desktop and click OK. Then select Next and Confirm. We're going to close and a second window will pop up showing the location. Please right click on the file and go down to rename. Press the left arrow on your keyboard so you can rename the beginning of the file. And all we ask is that you put your order number there. Then all you have to do is email us this FPF file to sales at rhymertuning.com and we'll get it modified for you. Once you received your modified file back from sales at Rhymer Tuning, you're going to want to plug in the Reflash Master into your computer again. 
generally speaking, the lead time on getting your modified file back is between two to three hours. Once you've downloaded the FPF file from the email that you received, you're going to want to open up the My Genius Client application again. You're going to go to Upload to My Genius, and you're going to go to Next. You're going to have the bar empty for the file location. Click on the three dots to the right of the box. Now we have ours saved to downloads. This is the FPF file that was sent back from Rhymer Tuning. Double click, it'll verify the file. And you'll see it pop up just below. Click on next. It'll give you all the details of the modified file and then click confirm. It'll say procedure has been completed successfully, close, and then you're ready to take the Reflash Master back out to your piece of equipment, plug it into the diagnostic port, and I'll show you how to write the file onto the ECM. Now that you have your modified file back and it's uploaded to the handheld device, you're gonna wanna connect it to the diagnostic port again. Once your Reflash Master is plugged into the diagnostic port, it'll automatically turn on and go to the main menu again. We're going to want to select work by using the green check mark labeled select. Then under protocol, we're going to select writing. You're going to press the green check mark. It gives you the details of the modified file. For this, we're increasing the horsepower by 10%. You're going to select okay by pressing the green check mark. You'll be prompted to ensure that your equipment is connected to a battery source. That way the batteries don't die while you're writing the ECM. You're going to have to switch on the dash. And then press OK by pressing the green check mark. be prompted to turn off the dash and then press OK. Again, it's going to prompt you to ensure that your piece of equipment is connected to a stabilized battery source. Press OK with the green check mark. You're going to have to switch on the dash and then press OK. Once you see writing preparation in progress, then you know that the mod file is being loaded to the ECM. This is going to take a couple of minutes. There may be a tone from the interior. That's how you know that you're connected to the engine controller and that the writing is in progress. You'll be prompted to switch off the dash once the writing's been completed. Press OK. you're going to have to switch on the dash. Once you see the prompt writing ECM completed, just press okay. Now that you're back at the main menu, you know that the writing process has been completed. And that's it. Your piece of equipment is all good to go. And just like that, guys, this Magnum 290 is all good to go. We're going to take it back down the street to our neighbors. And he's going to have this thing in the field before the end of this afternoon. But first, a really quick quality control.